If you've ever been to Europe, you've probably seen in the center of any city some street magician levitating in the air. This magic trick is quite mysterious, but there is a simple explanation behind it. The levitating man is like a living statue. But the main difference is that this trick supposedly goes against the laws of physics, given that the man is hovering in the air, holding only a cane, as if he were meditating. Usually, these artists wear traditional Indian or Middle East costumes in order to look like wise men or yogis. But the truth is that these so-called magicians use a secret mechanism that holds them in place and at the same time creates the illusion of levitation. The several layers of clothes are a great cover to hide the mechanism. The device used to perform this trick is actually quite simple. It has three main elements a chair, a holding mechanism that goes from the platform through the cane into the hand around the back and all the way to the chair, and a platform hidden under a rug, a blanket or the clothes used by a second person. As you see, it's not a hard trick. Spoon Bending Mental tricks are a great way to entertain and surprise any audience. But once you have uncovered the truth, it's obvious that such tricks are easy to prepare and to perform, and you don't need much to do it. The apparent deformation of metal objects without physical force enters in this category of tricks, in which the magician uses only the force of their mind. At least that's what they say to the public. But first, the magician shows the audience a normal metal object. The spectators can touch it and make sure that it's solid and in one piece. After that, the magician takes the object back, presses it with one hand, and starts to look at the object with concentrated eyes. It looks like the magician is using his mind force, and the audience sees how the object magically starts to bend. Impressive, right? But here's the secret behind this awesome trick. While the magician gives the audience the object for them to check, he secretly bends a similar object with his other hand. After showing the object, he places it in his other hand and interchanges it with the already bent object. Awesome! Now, the magician has a bent object. But the spectator doesn't see this, because the object is being held in front of him creating an illusion. Now the magician just has to make it seem like he's using his mind to bend the object, and he simply shows the object to the audience. But one thing is for sure, it is an awesome trick. Swallowing Razor Blades The most spectacular tricks are usually the most dangerous. To perform them, the magician needs a lot of training a steady hand, and a lot of precision. Otherwise, you can ruin the trick for the audience, but also harm yourself and even kill yourself. Eating razor blades is one of those dangerous tricks, but it is awesome and performed by experienced and famous magicians like Chris Angel and David Blaine. During the trick, the audience witness how the magician takes out some new razor blades from their package. In front of the public, he places them in his mouth and eats them. Once he has eaten all of them, the magician takes out the end of a thread from his mouth. He starts to pull, taking out not only the thread, but also the three razor blades he has eaten. The secret behind this trick is basically a good preparation of the objects you're going to need. For starters, the magician needs six blades, even if he only eats three. It's very important to blunt the blades beforehand. Once done, the magician creates a garland using the thread and three of the blades, remembering to make one of the ends of the thread long and easy to manage. This construction gets put together and placed compactly in one of the cheeks. Now it's time for the focus itself. The magician takes three of these supposedly new blades out of the package, places them in his mouth, and, so the spectators think, eats them one by one. Actually, each time a blade is placed in the tongue, the magician throws back his head, creating the illusion that he is swallowing it, when actually, he uses his tongue to hide the blade in his other cheek. He does this with each of the blades. After that, 
He just has to grab the end of the garland that he prepared beforehand and take the blades out of his mouth one by one, using his tooth for help. This might sound easy, but we don't think you should try it at home. Signed card through glass. Well, this trick is really awesome. The magician asks one of the viewers to pick any card and put it back in the deck, making sure the artist doesn't look at the card. He then shuffles the cards and pretends to be unable to find the card. After a few more tries, the magician throws the cards at a window. Here's where the magic happens. The card picked by the viewer sticks to the glass. Moreover, it is on the other side of the window. Impressive, right? How can that be? Well, we're going to tell you how it really works. In order to perform this illusion, the magician needs two identical decks of cards and an assistant. He has to perform the trick in a place with a big window. The viewer has to stand backwards to the glass. The magician asks them to pick a card, remember it, and put it back in the deck without showing it to him. Then, the illusionist shuffles the cards and tries to find the needed card. After a few tries, he pretends to be mad and throws the deck at the window. The cards hit the window and fall on the floor, while the chosen card sticks to the opposite side of the window with the help of the assistant. The trick is that the assistant was behind the viewer all the time, so he saw the chosen card, and then he just found the same card in his deck. He put a bit of sticky wax to the card, placed it on the window, and hid away. That's how the card appears on the other side of the window. It's a very impressive trick, but after the throw, the magician has to pick up all the cards and hide the chosen card in the pocket so that no one would notice anything. Zigzag Girl Do you know the trick where some parts of a person's body magically move? The magician places his assistant in a closet divided into a few blocks. He sticks knives into the closet, making it look like he's piercing the girl. Then he moves one of the blocks and, oh wow, the part of the body that is inside moves with the block. How on earth can this happen? Actually, it's quite a simple trick. It mostly depends on the assistant. Her main task is to stand inside the closet with her hand and her foot in a normal position. By the way, the closet is bigger on the inside. When the assistant enters the closet, she curves her body in such a way so that the knives won't touch her. When the middle part of the closet is pulled out, only the hand moves, while a black wall makes it look like the middle part of the body is completely torn apart. Torn Man Just look at this picture. The viewers are shivering seeing this body holding its own legs. Looks quite real, doesn't it? But there's no big secret here. This effect works only when you look at the magician from the front. If you look at him from another angle, you'll see that he has jeans on only the lower part of his legs, and that the part from his knees to his waist comes from a dummy. The body, or more exactly the front part of the magician's cloth, is fake too. It hangs freely from his shoulders. When the illusionist is showing the trick, he holds the lower part of his legs vertically and hides the rest of the body. At the same time, he reclines to the side, holding his shoulders parallel to the ground.